Grade 8 math number 1.2b, sets and subsets of real numbers. A set is a collection of objects. A set of numbers is a collection of numbers. So we write them in set braces. They look like this, these funny little squiggly lines. We put one on each side like parentheses. Those are set braces. The numbers are elements that are inside the set. We call them elements. A subset is a set inside the larger set. So let's see, we have set A. We have one, two, three, four, five, and it's a set of whole numbers. Set B is one, three, and five. This is a subset of this set because these numbers are in the larger set, see? This is a littler set that came out of that set. It's a subset of odd numbers from the set of whole numbers. So B is a subset of A, see that? By understanding which sets are subsets of types of numbers, we can verify if statements about the relationships between the sets are true or not. So let's take a look at this. We've got real numbers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and out of the rational numbers, we've got decimals, fractions, integers, and perfect squares, and then we've got the whole numbers coming out of integers. Well, the real numbers are a set of numbers, see? and rational and irrational numbers are subsets of real numbers. The rational numbers are a subset of real numbers and the irrational numbers are a subset of real numbers. In the rational numbers, decimals, fractions, integers, and perfect squares are all four different subsets of rational numbers. And whole numbers, well, that's a subset of the integers. See that? So they're slowly breaking off more and more and more. All right, let's see if we can answer these. True or false? All rational numbers are real numbers. Well, that's true. Real numbers consist of rational and irrational numbers. So all irrational numbers are real numbers. They're a subset, see? So that's true. Whole numbers are not rational numbers. Ooh, that's false. Whole numbers are rational. They're part of the subset, see? They're integers, and integers are rational numbers. So that one is false. Pi is a real number. Is pi a real number? That's true. Real numbers are all rational and irrational numbers, and pi is irrational, so it's a real number. So that one's true. Fractions and decimals are rational numbers. Well, that's true, because positive and negative fractions and decimals are rational numbers. See? So that one's true. They are rational numbers. They come off the branch of the rational numbers from the tree. How about some irrational numbers are integers? Well, that's false. Integers are not even in the same branch as irrational numbers. Look at that. Irrational numbers are a subset of real numbers, but integers are not. They're rational numbers. An integer is a positive or negative whole counting number, and irrational numbers are not whole numbers. Irrational numbers are like the square root of 2 or the square root of 3, square root of 17. So this one's false. How about all integers are rational numbers? Well, that's true. Like we said before, integers are positive and negative whole counting numbers. Those are rational. Integers are rational, see? So by understanding the subsets of this tree, you'll be able to classify and group these different types of numbers into the set they belong in, see that? So, we know that real numbers are broken into these two subsets, rational and irrational numbers. And rational numbers are broken up into four subsets of decimals, fractions, integers, and perfect squares. And then the integers has a subset of whole numbers. See that? These are by themselves, these irrational numbers. And real numbers just break off into either rational or irrational, and then the rational one is the one that's got everything else. Look at that. Irrational numbers are pretty much by themselves, aren't they?
So hopefully that's going to help you classify them or put them into sets when you need to. And now you understand what a subset is. Okay? It's a little set that's within the bigger set. It includes those numbers. Okay? I hope this was helpful. Keep your chin up. You're going to do fine. We're going to get through grade 8, grade eight math and you'll be okay. All right? I'll see you next video. Bye.